Flex FM. Flex FM. Representing London's underground music scene since 1992. London! Video didn't kill the radio star, thankfully. But you might have expected the internet, where you can now reach untold numbers of potential listeners in high quality and at practically no cost, to have seen off the hazardous and criminal twilight world of pirate radio stations. Well, you'd be wrong. For some latter-day pirates, the FM frequency retains an allure so strong it sees them continue to break the law. Dan Friedman has been tuning in. The DJ's like... Is the FM on? There are now more pirate radio stations broadcasting than ever before. And like, you say, oh, no, we're down for a bit. And you see the disappointment in their face. People were turning into stars overnight. You look at people like Tiny Temper, you know, they wouldn't be where they are without pirate radio. Everyone wants to take over the M25, be north, south, east and west, and it would be brilliant. Not as easy as that. When you go in there and say, yep, FM's back on, and they light up, like, to say, oh, yeah, all that's part of the reason why you keep doing it, because of the love. Right, it's Sunday night, basically, and we're just going to uh, take you into the world of, um, I suppose, pirate radio, really. Andy, Dan and Wayne are all from Flex FM, and what they're doing is illegal. This is a drop-release key. This gets you into the bottom of all the tower blocks. But on the roof of this block is their transmitter. This one's a girder key. Whatever you can see, you're hitting and further. You know, you've got um, Hampstead Heath at the back there, right over the back, which is like proper north. Is Hampstead, that Hampstead Heath there? That's Hampstead Heath. Wow. Back at Flex's studios at a hidden location elsewhere in South London, I catch up with some of the other members of the team. First, Becky, who tells me about the challenges they face from rival stations, the police and Ofcom. We can broadcast on the internet, not a problem at all, which we do do, and, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with that at all. With the FM, however, like, if you don't have a licence, you are constantly being followed by the DTI and they will just target stations as and when they choose. Christmas, we became a target. We were finding new blocks on a daily basis, and it was a whole process of, have we got the equipment, set it up, is it safe, are we going to be found? And we were, on, we were on and off like a light switch, more off than we were on, but they were following us from not only block to block, but borough to borough. In the space of three weeks, we were hit daily, maybe even two or three times a day. A lot. There's always people nicking transmitters and there's, there can be like a little mini war going on between certain two stations. That happens. That always happens. There's a code. There is a code, believe it. Believe it or not. It's like code amongst thieves, I suppose, but not that we're thieves, but it's like there is a there is rules and there's things that people tend not to overstep, which is pretty normal stuff. It's even to Joe Vlogs. You will drive around in your car and you'll be like, why is that why am I cutting out when I'm down the road? And then you realise it's another station cutting into you and the first thing you want to do is you want to go and track them down. No, 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 I'm not having that. So we would have to go to the tower block, track them down, turn off their transmitter, a bunch of boys will come up. I mean, I'm not going to go into it, but it can, it can kick off. And this is where some stations then do kind of fall off the dial. I've got a bail letter in me, <laughs> right, right, in the pocket right now, I'm not even going to lie. Uh, proceedings before the magistrate's court on the... Yeah, so I've got a letter up on the 2nd of June. I'm in court for, what, what were you called for? What did I say? What huh? is it? Stupid, <laughs> Stupid We're in court for burglary. With the airways already congested, Ofcom say pirates disrupt vital emergency service frequencies, as well as the broadcast of fully paid up licensed stations. Broadcasting via the internet is easier, cheaper and legal. And while some of London's pirates have decided to walk away and become online only, the Flex team believe that FM is still their most important medium. Like anyone can broadcast from their home. You know, the internet definitely changed, changed, the, changed the game. Not everyone can broadcast on the FM, you know, and it's still, 
it's like, you know, the DJs rock up and they're like, is the FM on? Yeah, well, it's, it's on, yeah. So it's like, and that, that's where the phone seems to, seems to ring, seems to pop, you know. So everyone's still listening to the FM and the internet's still there, but it still hasn't taken over. What's their reaction when it isn't? <laughs> well, normally, if, it, if the FM's not on, they don't turn up. The difference is, I think, is it's, it's live. You could record, you could record a whole week's worth of shows in your bedroom on your own, and just upload them as you go along. But with FM, it's all happening right now. The internet has clearly changed the way we all consume music, and of course, it's affected pirate radio. But the difference is the pirates can literally see their audience all around them, and it's not a bad view. It's like a voice. It's like a channel. You like, you're broadcasting. You know, the internet is just a bunch of wires that's all plugged in together. But the FM is like a, it's like a great big megaphone. You know, what you can see, you're hitting. So they actually stop making FM receivers and putting them in cars and putting them in radios and putting them in your house, FM's still going to be there. For the people at Flex, I really get a sense that as much as this is about thrill-seeking and rebellion, it's also about providing a public service for a small but passionate minority that really appreciate what they do. When cars drive past on the road and they're blazing, thumping out your station, you're thinking, yeah, like, that's our stuff. We've done that. Nobody's actually getting hurt from what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? In fact, we're probably providing enjoyment. Even though you're doing something wrong, the law says, you know, you feel like you're sort of doing something for everyone. And people love it. It's like freedom of speech. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we want to say something. And who is anyone to tell us that we can't do that? It's still massive. You know, if it wasn't, then the phone wouldn't ring, then why, why would we do it? We wouldn't. We, if the phone didn't ring, if people didn't like it, it'd be pointless. We're not going to stop. <laughs> Flex FM. Flex FM. Representing London's underground music scene since 1992. London.